I'm here with Jason, I'm here with Ilya. Um, first fan cam for the two of you. Sorry we couldn't get you on individually. Uh, it's just one of those situations. But, listen, um, it could be worse. We could have lost, but we, we still didn't pick up those three points. What are you boys thinking? Um, it was promising. Obama Yang looked really good. I think considering his personal life circumstance, he was, he was pretty decent. He could link up well. He was running at the right places. He was... I think couple of chances if we would have took him this could have been a different game we were very close so for me it was a positive game I yeah. think it was a pretty decent game regarding the circumstances of everything that's happening last 10 days so yeah I think it was a pretty decent match we did well the players look like they're awake now they want to play football now they're turning up the heat so with what we had happening I think it's looking promising are you uh, are you happy with what you saw today, Jason? Yeah, I saw good passages of play, like, but I, st I do still feel like a lack of creativity is our main problem. Like, we create no chances for our attackers, and for me, when they get criticised, I feel like it is a bit unfair, due to the fact that they get like there's just no service. Like, we don't play any penetrating passes forward. Like, I feel like Mason Mount was very good tonight, but Hakim Ziyech when he came on, honestly, like. You can just see he doesn't want to be a him and Pulisic, two players, and they're the players we're bringing on to try and win us the game, like, honestly. Um, we're talking about lacking creativity. Um, I think most fans will especially agree with us in that midfield area. Jorginho, Kovacic in, 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 in the centre of the park. Obviously, we had Loftus-Cheek came on, made a difference. Who is it that you think is going to be our main creative spark in that position? Because we're not seeing an awful lot of assists, we're not seeing an awful lot of goals, unless you in include penalties from Jorginho. Where are we going to get that spark from? Um, it's a difficult one. I think creativity-wise in midfield, um, we're lacking for sure. We're lacking for sure. Maybe Connor Callagher could possibly develop into that role. But as of now... I don't see anyone in the current roster being that, you know, creative number 10, yeah. getting the assists in, breaking down the lines. So I think in January, they're possibly going to go for a player in that position, most likely. I do want to apologise. I did actually miss out Mason Mount. Um, but having said that, he still has struggled um, in the beginning of the season. But I thought he looked better today. Are you, you know, what, are you, what are your thoughts on him? Yeah. His work rate was immense today, as always. That's what you're going to get with Mason Mount. It's just whether, you know, like the creativity, like the final ball as well. I feel like if he sharpens up on that, then we've got a player there. But Kai Havertz played number 10 today. Nothing. I saw nothing. Like, that's meant to be his best position you know, without any defensive responsibility. And I didn't see anything. I didn't see him create anything. I didn't see him take on his man. Like, I saw nothing from him, to be honest. You say you saw, you saw nothing from Kai Havertz today. He's been here for a couple of years already. What is the situation? What are you thinking of him as a fan? Because we've been quite patient. Um, you know, it's all about giving players time. I think we've done that. How much time? How much more time does he need? How much more time has he got? For me, he's got the up until the end of this season. For me, because apart from that Champions League goal, I don't know what more he's done for us. I feel like that's what's given him. That's what's given him a lot of time with Chelsea fans. If it weren't for that, be calling for him gone. Honestly, that. I don't see anything special about him. 72 million as well, not good enough for me. And obviously, um, we had we had Kepa starting in goal. Quite nice to see. I think it's quite refreshing not to see Mendy in there. Not because I don't want him to be there, but I just don't think his performances have been good enough. Um, you know, Kepa starting again. Sadly, no clean sheet. Um, same thing in Zagreb. Is this an issue in terms of the goalkeeping? Is this more of a defensive issue? Where, where do you think we're conceding these goals in, in the competition? Because last year it was, you know, it, was, it was a lot better, especially at this stage. We weren't conceding the goals. I mean, I remember standing out here when we beat Juventus 4-0. Where's, where's that solid defence gone? This is the thing about Chelsea. If Chelsea decide to turn up, take risk, play for each other, we saw it last season against Madrid. 80 minutes their own backyard we had him we had him there so this is the team with the record with the least amount of goals conceded in the Champions League everything is there for this team to happen regarding Kepa I think Mendy was dropping a bit in form he did that little back pass where he lost the ball I think the confidence levels for Mendy it was the right thing to drop him Kepa did pretty all right I think he did he had a very nice save 
Um, he was he was pretty decent. He was solid in the corners. He came out considering his height and you know his physical attributes. He, he did pretty well, but in the long run, Chelsea will need to get another keeper, a second keeper, a pretty decent one, tall, perhaps you know, a little bit more physical. I think we'll be all right as far as that. Hopefully, Mendy regains the form within the next couple of weeks and. We know what he can do and we have him out there. And Kepa, we can count on Kepa. I think when we call on him, he could deliver for us, but it's just a sticky situation for him. He's been around for a while and he's been first choice, he's been second choice. And you know, his, his career in Chelsea has gone up and down. But I think long term, we need that second keeper. If we can get a deal for Kepa, he's on quite high wages. Um, they try to offload him, but Unfortunately, not many teams are going to be able to pay that wage. So I think long term, we've got to look at a keeper for sure, for a second keeper to back up Mendy, especially with all these games, two domestic cups, Champions League, Premier League. It's a lot of games. So we need to have two solid keepers, I think.